just outside, enjoying a little bit of a drizzle right now. Looks as though the rain is starting to slowly pick up today. I wanted to show you guys something really cool since I showed you guys my planter um, yesterday. And another cool thing is, look how much my lettuce grew. That is almost like an inch and a half higher than it was yesterday. This stuff is just coming straight up. That's amazing. So previously in my other videos, I did mold cleanings, which are plaster molds that you do slip casting. But I'm not sure if you guys realized how many we have. Let's go ahead and pan in real quick. In here we have over 2,000 slip cast molds, and they were donated to my, um, my uh, fiance's mother from a woman who collected them for over 40 years, but eventually she got arthritis and she couldn't do it anymore uh, because they're heavy, because you have to fill them up and then you have to pour the slip out and uh, it can get quite hefty. But uh, we don't even have an idea of all of the ones that we have and all of the things that are in here. And the thing is, is some of these are so dirty, you have to clean them first to even know what's inside of them. Like for an example, let's grab one of these random ones down here. See, the inside of it's really dirtied out because they were left outside and uh, to the elements. So some of them uh, need a deep cleaning, but they can still work. And then on that side, it looks like it has some details too. So that's like a little house. And of course, we have some storage stuff in here, things that we need to get rid of. But even the wall on the opposite side is from the bottom all the way to the top is completely, even up on the ceiling area, full of these molds. And if we back up a little bit, we actually have two separate sections right here, completely full of, uh, of molds. If we go around this little pathway that we made, we have another shelving on this side. It's completely full of these, full of these plaster molds. And you never know what these things are going to make, you know? And some of these, there's only like half of them here. So we kind of need to, uh, you know, figure out what we want to, uh, what to do about that we need to either find the other piece or we might have to throw them away um here's some of the things that actually come out of these guys you can make really cool things so here's a interesting little um it's a chicken and it looks like a soap dispenser so you can make things like this and uh even uh you know some decorative you know holiday things as well um, I'll show you some more stuff at the end, but I don't want to show you like all those guys because it's kind of a dark area back here. But yeah, this is just showing you that all the way to the back, there, there's there's molds. There's, there's a lot of them. And I want to show you some of the cool things that you can make out of them as well uh, towards the front. So these are all like tiny little ones. Uh, some of them are only one-sided, uh, so they're like pendants or like little medallions. Um, but some of them need two pieces, so we keep a lot of our loose ones right here until we find the other half, if we have it. And then, uh, I do want to open a few of these for you guys, so you can get, like, an idea. Oh, look at this one. This is a, uh, semi-truck. You see right there. It's pretty cool. I'm going to set that back down. See, I had no idea what that was. I had no idea that that was a semi-truck, and this is one of the more dirty ones. I mean, look at the inside of that. That's uh, probably got some creepy crawlies in there. And then we have this area cleared off at the be at the beginning of the shed. And this is for mainly all of the work that we're going to do because you're going to need some uh, little uh, kind of Velcro to, you know, clamp the two sides together when you pour in the slip. Because they're all usually in two pieces. So you wrap it around there so it doesn't uh, leak out. But look at all of these guys. I want to show you guys these were all made within the last, like, week. And we have, like, some cute little kitty cats, if we can get a good uh, focus in on them. We have the light in the background, so it's kind of uh, blowing things out a little bit. We have some other cute little cats right there. I'll try to stay a little farther away. It seems to like that better. We have some little bear right there, polar bear. And these are the ones I'm really interested in. These are chess pieces. And we're still trying to find the other ones, but imagine making your own chessboard with your own chess pieces. And these are probably one of a kind, honestly. And then here at the bottom, we have uh, some of the bigger ones. This is like a uh, kind of probably like a milk, a milk thing to pour. It actually comes out the cow's mouth. And then we have like a little bunny. 
we have a uh, pretty cool little seashell right here. If we go around the side of this board. I really like that one. We have little cups too. That uh, probably has a lid to it somewhere. But some of these designs on here are super intricate and really beautiful, and you wouldn't even know until you filled it up with the slip. And like I said, we have some flat ones as well. So right here we have uh, kind of, I think this is a pug, or uh, maybe it's a pit bull, I'm not too sure. But they're uh, little kind of flat, little cute kind of things. You could use it as like a ornament for like a Christmas tree or something like that. We have uh, cool little things like this. This is really cute. This is a um, mouse on a clock. I really like that one. But yeah, there's so many things. I'm trying to keep this in focus because I'm using open camera right now. And for some reason, open camera, it films better on my phone, but it also uh, likes to go out of focus more. So I'm keeping focus as much as I can for you guys. Another cool thing right here. Let's actually take this outside real quick and get a better view. This is a plate right here. Look at that. And these edges right here, this is all can be cleaned up. And this might just because... This might just be because of the um, age of the mold. Maybe there's some stuff stuck in there. Sometimes you have to run the slip through a few times, and the slip will actually, you know, help the dirt come out of the mold. But this right here, if we open this up, this is actually the slip. This is the, um, well, slip, if you haven't caught on, is water mixed with clay. Let me take that off. That's all that it is. And the molds, they're made out of plaster, so they absorb this moisture out of the clay, and you let it sit in there for a few minutes. Try to pop that on there. We can. There we go. And after it's sat in there a little bit, um, you can actually pour out the excess, and the shell is what's left. So when we poured this in, it was completely full, but when we pour it out, the um, actual plaster absorbs a certain amount of it, and then that's what holds really the, the design, and you pour out the excess back into the bucket to reuse. So you can imagine with how much we have, we have this bucket, that bucket, one over there, and we also have some clay blocks as well. We have all, uh, you can mass produce pretty much any of these guys. The only problem is, is they need to be fired at about, I'd say 1,800 to 2,000 degrees. And uh, we have a kiln, but we don't have the right electrical outlet for it. And even if we did, we don't really want to spend the electricity. But maybe our friend would be willing to do that. But uh, I was thinking of maybe trying to do a little experiment with epoxy resin. And maybe there would be a way to somehow incorporate these guys into it. But yeah, let's do another pan in real quick of the uh, amazing kind of collection we got here. Like I said, over 2,000 molds in here. And uh, the reason I said it took me two, we two weeks to uh, clean my garage is because I moved every single one of these in here and stacked them um, some of them were already done maybe like two shelves but between me my fiance and her mom we all just we drug them in here on a cart and just covered the shelves with them and it's amazing because every time you want to go and make something it's kind of uh like opening a gift you don't know which one you're going to get and it could create something really cool, and if uh, we ever have a way to fire them, then we can make them as solid as like a mug, like a coffee mug, and you could paint them, you could glaze them, and make them look really nice. But yeah, I hope you guys found this kind of cool and interesting, and uh, I'm really excited to uh, maybe eventually start, you know, making things out of these, cleaning them out, and uh, showing you guys kind of the little adventure that we got going on in here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.